Hi there guys, hope you're doing well. This is your friend and tutor Manas. So let's see what this problem has in store. Here we go. Determine the magnitude and direction of the smallest force P required to start the wheel over the block. Alright, so first of all, let us try to understand this arrangement. So there is this wheel and there is a block over here whose height is 15 centimeters. Alright, so we need to find the minimum value of P or the minimum force P which shall be applied at an angle theta somewhere along this direction which is just good enough to start the wheel over this block. And when that sort of event happens, then the point of contact over here that the wheel has with this inclined surface breaks. All right, that means you can say that this surface is not going to offer a normal reaction to the wheel. All right, so what are the forces acting in this arrangement? Let's try to work that out. Okay, for that, a small little construction is to be done. Please watch carefully. I'm gonna be joining this point with this center of the wheel, okay, something like this. And I'm gonna be making a line parallel, okay, parallel to this line over here, something of this sort. And again, a line parallel starting from this point, parallel to this line, that's it, okay? Now let us name these two points in the form of say N and M. Now guys, uh, watch carefully. If I say that this angle is alpha, okay, and this angle we already know, this is 30 degrees. So this angle also has got to be 30 degrees. Well, that's obvious. Now we are supposed to calculate the value of alpha, okay, because we'll be requiring that for resolving the forces. All right, so how can that be calculated? Now, if you can carefully look at this triangle in triangle C N M, we can write cos alpha is equal to base that is cm over hypotenuse that is nc or cn whatever now if you were to calculate the value of cm cm is equal to this much that is 60 okay from this point to this point this is 60 minus of 15 60 minus 15 will obviously give you 45 anyway divided by cn so how much is cn cn is the radius and radius is equal to 60 that's it you just need to solve this equation and you're going to eventually get the value of alpha is equal to 41.4 degrees, okay? So right now I'm gonna be erasing this alpha and in place of this, I'm gonna be writing 41.4 degree, all right. So the overall angle over here, okay, if I can write this angle, the entire angle, okay, that this line NC makes with the vertical is 41.4 plus 30 degrees. That means it's gonna be equal to 71.4 degrees. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, try to work out the forces which are acting. If you watch carefully, there is going to be a reaction at point N from the block and onto this wheel. The reaction is gonna be somewhere along this direction. Okay, let us say that the name of this reaction is Rn. All right, now Rn will have two components, one in the vertical direction, this way. Okay, now watch carefully guys, this is Rn making an angle of 71.4 with this line over here. So this component is what you call Rn cos 71.4, all right. And at the same time, Rn will have one more horizontal component in this direction, okay? And this is what you call Rn sine 71.4. Again, this P will also have two components. So P is making an angle of theta with this line over here, and hence its horizontal component in this direction is gonna be equal to P cosine of theta, whereas P's vertical component is will be along this direction and this is what you call P sine theta. All right, what we're gonna be doing right now is that we'll be using the equation of equilibrium. So starting with the first equation of equilibrium, summation of F of X is equal to zero, okay? So please try to look at the forces in the X direction. So there is P cos theta, left hand side, negative minus of p cos theta what else is there so you have rn sine 71.4 right inside all right positive rn sine 71.4 everything shall be equal to zero okay fine so if we were to calculate the value of rn we can do so by writing rn is equal to p cos theta over sine 71.4 so this is the value of rn which i've got and i'm going to be using this somewhere now let us uh, go ahead with another equation of equilibrium in the form of summation of all the forces in y direction is equal to zero so let us try to have a look this is in upward direction positive all right so p sine theta has to be taken as positive so what's next rn cos 71.4 this is also positive upward 
आर एन कॉस सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट फोर सो वॉट इल्स टेन किलो न्यूटन इज द वेट ऑफ द व्हील ओके एक्टिंग इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन इन हेंस नेगेटिव सो माइनस ऑफ टेन इज इक्वल टू जीरो ऑल राइट सो वॉट वी गन बी डूइंग इज वी गन बी पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ आर एन इज इक्वल टू पी कॉस थेटा ओवर साइन सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट फोर समवेयर हियर सो दैट द एंटायर इक्वेशन टर्नस आउट इन पी ओके सो लेट मी राइट दिस अगेन पी साइन ऑफ थेटा प्लस आर एन वॉट इज आर एन पी कॉस थेटा ओवर साइन सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट फोर पी कॉस थेटा ओवर साइन ऑफ सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कॉस सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट फोर एंड इफ यू कैन शिफ्ट दिस माइनस टेन ओवर हियर इट विल बिकम पॉजिटिव इज इक्वल टू टेन नाउ इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वॉट आई एम गोन बी डूइंग इज आई एम गोन बी टेकिंग एल सी एम ओके लेट मी टेक दिस एल सी एम लेट मी ट्राई टू ड्रॉ लाइन ओके साइन So this will be p times of taking p common from here also and from here also. It will be sine theta sine seventy one point four plus cos theta cos seventy one point four. And now this is a very popular trigonometric equation. Okay. Now cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. So cos a cos b plus sine a sine b is equal to cos of a minus b. So what basically I'm going to be doing is p times of cos of a minus b that is theta minus 71.4 and i'm going to be shifting this sin 71.4 over here that is equal to 10 sin 71.4 all right now i can write the value of p is equal to 10 times of sin 71.4 whole divided by cos of theta minus 71.4 all right Okay, guys. Now the logic is very simple. We need to find the minimum value of p. Okay, so this is numerator, this is denominator. So p will be minimum when this denominator is maximum. Now let us try to draw the graph for cos of x. Okay, the graph is something like this, like this. Okay, so the maximum value of cos is one. Okay, and the minimum value of cos is minus one. Maximum value of cos is obtained at Theta is equal to zero degree. All right. So basically, what I'm trying to say is, had this theta minus seventy one point four been equal to zero degrees, this denominator would have turned out as maximum. And when that was the case, this p would have been minimum. So what we're going to be doing is now for p to be minimum, this has to be maximum, and this maximum value is obtained when this angle over here is equal to zero. And hence, theta minus seventy one point four is equal to zero. And in such a case, the value of theta obtained is equal to seventy one point four degrees. Okay, when you put this value of theta is equal to seventy one point four into this equation over here, you are going to eventually get the value of p minimum, which is going to be equal to ten times of sine of seventy one point four. Why? Because seventy one point four minus seventy one point four is zero, and cos of zero is one. So ultimately, we are left with. 10 sin 71.4 as the minimum value of p, and this would eventually work out as 9.47. All right. So ultimately, the final answer of p is 9.47 kilo newtons. Okay. So when this wheel is pulled by with the force of 9.47 kilo newtons, uh, making an angle of uh, 71.4 degrees with the horizontal, this wheel will just turn, will just start. All right. That's it, guys. So guys that was all from my side for today if you like the content and presentation in this video do give it a big thumbs up and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of mechanics then do recommend this channel to your friends and classmates so that all of them can benefit i'll see you again with a new problem until then it's a wrap this is manas patnaik signing off take care have a great day and keep learning